Hi, welcome to part 20 of my 100% Lilith playthrough. On today's episode, we're going to be speeding through the main story, but before we do that, there's a couple things that we forgot to do last episode I need to get done right now. The first is to kill Rakinshu again, because he drops us the Crack Sash. I completely forgot to pick it up last episode. I don't really know what came over me. Who could forget the wonderful Crack Sash? One of the best shields in Borderlands 1, no doubt. Seems Rakinshu is not quite resistant to the SMG. He's dead, but where has that sash gone to? I cannot find it anywhere. Oh, here it is. Yeah, baby. Wait, that's not it. What? That's just a normal green shield. What the fuck? Come on now. Am I being punked right now? Like, what's going on? He's got loot over here even. His loot just went absolutely everywhere. It's crazy. I could have sworn he always dropped that thing though. Like, what, did he just drop a different green shield this time? Is that how it works? Well, I suppose I'm gonna save quit and come back and kill him again. Not quite sure why we didn't get it there. Maybe I just missed it somehow and that green shield is just a coincidence. I wonder how the card does against him. Well, he, he takes it out pretty efficiently, but... Oh, well, you know. Yeah, that kind of works. I'm gonna just kind of sit here and no-brain it. I see a green... I see a green over there. That better be it. It's a shield. What do we got? There it is, the Crack Sash. What a nice shield. Faster recharge than capacity. I mean, let me try the Crack Sash out. I'll be honest, I've never really used it. For all I know, it could be a really good shield and I'm just making fun of it for no reason. Also, I apologize for missing that other I in his name this whole time. I've been saying Rakinshu, but it's Rakinishu. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it exactly, but my best my best interpretation is like Rakinishu. Now that I've done with that, I've come over to Crazy Earl's Scrapyard, and now we gotta farm our last SDU of the entire playthrough. I can't believe it either. It also means we can beat the game without having to worry about any repercussions because before if I happened to beat the story and go into the vault at all it would just literally break all the SDU farms and I would be screwed. No such restrictions will apply to us now. Hello Claptrap. Go ahead and grab the quest. Now he's got to grab the kit. One of the easiest ones in the game. Just use a little grenade jump here on this fridge and grab the kit. Stash right here too. Might as well grab that. Yeah, you can just go ahead and ignore this weapon box right here. It's a piece of shit and it's really worthless. We got the quest finished, but that's only half the battle. We need to trigger a save now. That way we can switch it over to read only and start farming for it. I'm just going to go ahead and run back to the start right here. It'll trigger a save and I can also buy med kits from the vendor over there so I can get my inventory filled up. That'll give us a way better chance at the SDU. I say way better, but that's pretty much just me coping. I must say, Earl's Scrapyard looks much better at night. All these burning barrels of garbage really give the place a nice homey feel, you know what I mean? Okay, first run. Let's hope we can get it. Nope. Safe quit. Go ahead and reselect our character. Here we are. Run two. Nope. Can't go down here. That'd be embarrassing. Claptrap. Run three. Nope. Nine. Oh, there we go. Finally. Number nine. Wasn't that many runs, but it felt like a while just because how long I had to go to get to the fucking Claptrap. All right. Let me turn it off read only before I do anything else. All set. The SDU is secured. Are you going to show us to a loot stash Claptrap? I can't quite remember with you. Looks like he's not going to. No, he's going to go over here. Yeah, I remember now. Start twerking then. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, there you go. This is a monumentous occasion, everybody. Our final SDU. Let us learn it together. Oh, yeah. 69 out of 72 inventory slots. Now, that's poetic right there. It's a good feeling. That is the first goal on our list that we have 100% completed so far. So, we'll go ahead and give ourselves a pat on the back for that one there. Good job. Good job. Yep. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to get back to business. I've come to Crom's Canyon now to get some side quests finished and get our main mission done. That'll unlock even more New Haven over at Treacher's Landing and a couple other places. Still gonna have to do the Claptrap Rescue missions because while we're not getting SDUs from them anymore, they are still missions and they will count towards our total. Grab the first can of skag meat for Earl. Here we are at the claptrap. Oh, okay, and I killed myself shooting that barrel. I'll be honest, I didn't have a reason to shoot the barrel, but I really didn't think it'd kill me all the way over here. Uh, come on, anybody? Anybody at all? Yep, nothing around, I'm dead. Yet another can of meat, and we'll grenade jump on over there to grab the crate. Crate kit, whatever you call it. Magical box that makes Claptrap start dancing. Here you are, buddy. Give me a nice grenade mod, will you? Nope, nope. Probably about the worst one he could have given me anyways. Thank you. He'll open a weapon stash for us, though, so we'll see what we get out of that. Certainly it'll be better than what he gave us because it couldn't be worse. Yeah. Nothing that tickles my fancy in there. Thank you very much, Claptrap, but I'll have to decline. Definitely need to make a pit stop at the Underdome to store some uniques and some double anarchies that I've been having in my inventory for about, oh, I don't know, 10 episodes. Speaking of uniques, gonna have another one right here from Reaver. That's the Reaver's Edge. Very nice. Looks pretty cool. Got the got the camo doll skin, but it's like gold. Go and pick that up. Mark it off on our list. The Reaver's Edge has bonus critical hit damage. I believe that's why it's special. So it's certainly a pretty decent weapon on top of being a unique. That was number nine. And here's can 10 of our skag meat. Now we're done with every side mission in the canyon. Only left to do is save, quit, and go for Chrome. 
Anybody who shoots a claptrap, especially a claptrap who looks like that, is a good man in my book. He also stabbed Crazy Earl twice, so that's only adding to his repertoire. However, while he may be a great man, he's also a very weak and sad man. Well, he's not so great. Okay, yeah, just... Okay, man, I get it. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's the piece of the key, and here is one of the worst weapon stashes I've ever seen. My goodness, why is this at the end of the boss battle? Yet another unique weapon to mark off our list right here, Chrome Sidearm. Look at that. I've never used this weapon at all. I don't know what's really special about it. Is there anything special about it at all? At first glance, it just seems like a normal electrical repeater pistol. It's burst fire, It's a because it's a dull pistol. I believe that's just come standard. Oh wait, it's an Atlas pistol that's burst fire. Okay, well, I don't know if that's different than what they usually are or not, but... Regardless, there it is, Krom's sidearm. It's no wonder he's dead. Krom's canyon has nothing left to offer us, so now we save quit. Make my way over to New Haven to turn all those in here in a second, but first, I need to stop at the bank. This old girl's earned her place in the vault right here. This is the one that we've been using almost the entire playthrough. Well, since we got it anyways, and it served us very, very well. Go ahead and get into the vault. Here's Krom's sidearm, put that in the vault. Sledge of shotgun. There's the Mad Jack, the blister, the elephant gun, two more double anarchies, the sentinel, the spy. I've got the Reaver's Edge equipped right now. I'm not gonna store that just yet, but I am gonna swap the crack sash out. I believe the super booster is just a little bit better than the sash, and I'm gonna store the sash in here now. Okay, we are looking pretty good in our vault now. A lot of uniques, even more double anarchies, but most important of all, the TK repeater, safe and sound. Oh yeah, baby. Don't you go anywhere. I just switched my car color over to red at the start of this episode. I must say, it's really growing on me. I kind of like the red. It's a deep, rich red, you know what I mean? Not like those those pussy reds that you see everywhere else. This is a, this is real red. Real mug-blooded American red. Here we are, Tannis' domicile. Got a little bit of a rack problem in here, Tannis. Turn that in, grab the next one. Now we've got to go to Janustown. Janustown is going to have to wait since we've got some more side missions unlocked in New Haven now. I'm going to get those out of the way first. Investigate Old Haven. We won't be doing that until we go to Old Haven. Relight the beacons, though. We will be doing that. That's just over in the Rust Commons East. Turn in the mission to kill Reaver at the bounty board here. All right, nothing else at the bounty board. That's odd. I thought the bounty board would give us a mission to go to Treacher's Landing and blow up some fish, but uh, I guess maybe that comes later. Can't forget about Crazy Earl. His skag meat's getting even more rancid by the minute sitting in my inventory. There you go, man. Hopefully it'll suit you well. You know, I'm sure whatever's in those cans... He's gonna enjoy it. Just a hunch. Our next stop now is the middle of nowhere. We have to get the bounty board going and work on all the missions around the Rust Commons East. First thing on the agenda is to rummage through the garbage for a few fuses. The Holy Shrine erected in Slither's honor. That's not him though, that's a false prophet. Who are you? How dare you stand before Slither's altar, mocking him. You're nothing like him. As per usual, the same three piles contain the fuses. That's one. I'm gonna see if I can do it without breaking any incorrect piles. That's not it. Okay. That one right there, that one's not it, this one's it. God damn it, well it's, at least it's not this one still. And the third one right here, um, oh it seems I accidentally destroyed the pile that contained the third piece already, so there it is. I still have no idea which piles contain the fuses, but oh well, head on back now and we can get more missions. Turn it in, go to the bounty board, actually we don't go to the bounty board, we go right over here and kill five spider ants. I don't make the rules, I just follow them, where are the, where are the spider ants though? Okay, there they are finally. Oh yeah, I don't miss. Oh yeah, I don't miss. Who's next? Okay, I, I missed. I still don't miss. Okay, Johns, the bugs are dead. Can I use the bounty board now? Talk to Helena. Oh, come on. Okay, well, never mind. The bounty board's open now. Put off talking to her as long as we possibly can, because quite frankly, between between you and I, I... I don't like her. Now we've got a whole smorgasbord of missions. We have these two right here, which are both in the same chain, the religion chain, I guess you could call it, where you gotta go and burn their scriptures, take their pamphlets, and kill their god. It's a little bit sad if you think about it, but I suppose why are the bandits allowed to worship anything or have anything? Got a bug problem, kill a few big spider ants scattered on the map, hidden journals rust commons, naturally, scavenger shotgun, everyone knows what that is, and circle of slaughter, we'll be saving that for last because it's gonna be pretty boring since it's just mobbing and we're so over leveled that mobbing is just a mindless task at this point. Suppose we've gotta start somewhere, so I'll begin with alter ego burning heresy, I believe that's what it is, right? Yeah, burning heresy, we're gonna go burn their scriptures. Scripture number one torch go ahead and burn scripture two i said this before when i did the quest on our first playthrough but i don't believe these scriptures are being burnt it looks like we're picking them up and then leaving a flaming pile of whatever 
sitting in their wake. I suppose the scriptures are so convincing that upon reading them, the vault hunters are convinced to just take them and pretend they're burning them. Having seen their deity firsthand, I can't quite blame them. And there's number three. We also have a mission just over here from this random guy who sits out in the middle of the garbage lake. I don't know his name or if he even has one, but he's got a nice house, I'll tell you that. I mean, come on, don't you wish you lived there? He's got running water. Um, hey man, what do you got for me? Green thumb. Oh yeah, okay. While I'm over here, I'll start snagging Tannis' journals. The very first one is at this bridge. Guess I'll talk to the claptrap too, just to get it down so I can cross when I want. We got the journal out the box. I decided I'm gonna run this map kind of like a circuit, so I'll go in a circle. I started over there getting all the scriptures done. Now I've come across the bridge. I'm gonna fight whatever spawns here. It's Helob. Yeah, Helob spawns over here. Come on up, big man. See what you got. I bet you have nothing on the steel mall or Helob. Yeah. Nothing. Oh, come on. Really? I gotta reload. One bullet shy. Watch. One bullet. What is that? Okay, I thought it was a double anarchy. You know, it's been a long time since we've seen a double anarchy. I can't really believe it. Wow. And even that one's not a double anarchy. That was just something's wrong in the universe. That should have one of these should have been a double anarchy. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm getting a little bit concerned here. Our next stop will be Taylor Cobb, just over here. I really wish you wouldn't be posted up like that all the time, Taylor. You could spread your feet a little bit. You know, you're supposed to stand shoulder width apart. Yeah, you're not quite there, but whatever. Turn it in, get the next one. Now, I want to talk for a second about these story missions because coming up, there's a mission titled The Last Piece of the Puzzle, and I cannot complete that mission before going back to New Haven. The reason being, there's a unique weapon called the Rider, and I can only get the Rider during that mission. Otherwise, it's in a room that's not accessible for the rest of the game. I know there was a glitch with medkits that you can use to get in there in the original game, but I'm not sure if that translates over to this one. All that means for us is we have to save, quit, and go to New Haven before we fight the Rack Hive, which won't be a big deal but if i do forget uh we could end up not being able to get that unique and not be able to finish that goal that's okay though my memory is sharp as attack and i never forget anything so this should be no problem at all i take care of these guys that are shooting at me i'm about sick of not killing the mobs around me you know it gets a little bit tiring getting shot at the whole time i've been ignoring them a lot this playthrough just because i'm so over leveled killing them is kind of just you know it's way too easy and doesn't get me a lot i think i've been shot just enough times to be sick of doing it i've come for you janus and I missed half my mag, don't worry about it, you can't do anything to me. There you go. And here we are, the meat grinder, another unique weapon. You know, we're getting a lot of unique weapons this episode. Ooh, and a weapon stash in here. A stinger and a burning SMG. That should be a double anarchy. Where's the double anarchies? Where have they gone? Wow. Two green SMGs out of this box. They're mocking me now. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab the valve to complete the green thumb quest for the guy standing down there. That's all right, though. We'll have to go back into Janus Town to do another mission anyway, so I'll just grab it and then come back and get it then. Turn that in. Next one's going to take us to New Haven. We've got another reason to go over there, too, but we won't be doing it just yet. Got a couple things to take care of here. The next stop on our Rust Commons East Circuit is going to be this North Ridge Beacon. I believe that's what this one is. Could be the over... No, this must be the Overlook Beacon, but regardless, going to activate it. There it is. Snag the valve right here. Can't forget to go over here and disrupt the bandit religious movement even farther. Too bad their god didn't teach them how to kill people. All right, six pamphlets. Now we can get out of here. It's time to kill Widowmaker. Spawns right here. This time it will take only one mag. I swear it. There it is. Stay still. Stay still. There you go. Thank you very much. And it's dead. Easiest kill of my life. Wow. Worst revolver of my life. Is that really all you dropped? No money or ammo or anything? Just just one piece of garbage revolver? Oh well. Mission's completed. Grab the rest of our hidden journals now and relight the beacon. It's not marked on the map, but I know for a fact there's another journal hidden right behind this here in bed. Yes, sir. Hate to interrupt Tannis's intellectual conversation. There's another tape right there. Always lovely listening to the words of wisdom Tannis spouts consistently. Mr. Johns has the final tape just over here. Something tells me Tannis didn't put that there. Mr. Johns had already found it and he took it over there. I don't know what he wanted to do with it. I don't know why he had it. But he does. Anyway, since I already had to come over here, I'll turn these missions in. Ooh, nice shield. I might equip that, actually. I'll have to look, see how it compares to our Wee Wee Super Booster. A white, terrible scatter gun. What a piece of shit. Okay, now we can go kill Slither. That's the only other mission we managed to get. I have absolutely no problem with that. This religious movement's done nothing for me. They gave me nothing for the quest, so now I'm a little bit upset. Also, I got that scatter gun. That had nothing to do with them, but that really makes me upset. So I think I'm gonna go take it out on Slither. Just one stop to make before Slither meets his fate, and that's to turn this thing on. Now that mission's completed. I know it's probably not all entertaining to watch me run around and do quest objectives, but there's not really much else to do at this point in the game. Okay, big man Slither, come on out, man. Let's see. Let's see what you got. 
Got about 16 holes in your chest and head. Now that's a shotgun, Slither. You're trying at least. Hell yeah. I might even use that. I wonder what jackass came over here and lit this thing on fire. Well, the false prophet's dead, so that's all that matters. Our next stop is the shotgun scavenger hunt. Magazine, stock, barrel, finally the body. I can't wait for that green rarity scatter gun. I really can't. Gonna head to the Rust Commons West, take on the Circle of Slaughter now. I think it's gonna be a pushover since we're over leveled, but some of these enemies could get pretty strong since there's gonna be multiple waves and it's supposed to be a challenge after all. Wow, that reload speed is so bad. Look at how bad that reload speed is. This is the shotgun that Slither dropped. Look it. Bitch, that doesn't slither, it crawls. Like, that is awful. That's literally snail speed. What's the deal? Why is the gate closed here? Oh, the shotgun puts in work, I'll admit, but that reload speed is it, it just makes me sad. It really does. Bad mother maniac. All right, if I two-shot this maniac, I'll keep using it. Uh-oh. Well, I probably shouldn't have said that. Hey, Chuck, give me that first round. Let's get in there. I'm ready. I'm itching to kill. Give me a challenge. Yeah, I'm done with that. Steel mauler time. No more playing around. These enemies are only level 45, so they're even lower than usual. 44, 45, yeah, pretty bad. Round 1 was a joke, but even on level, round 1 is always a joke for all these arena matches, so nothing new there. Turn it in, get round 2 now, see if you can give me something better, Chuck. Alright, Brutes, level 47. A lot of them, okay, wow, yeah. He, he, he listened, and I accidentally pressed F twice, not good. Oh, that's the big issue right there, we got a badass Brute with a rocket launcher. He's gonna do a number on me, even if I am overleveled. And yeah, he just did. Okay, yeah, little one, little one, little one. Yeah, you're so big and strong with your with your rocket launcher that you got spawned in with, aren't you? Cool. Oh, you have one too. I knew it. I knew there was another one. Oh, you missed me. A fatal mistake, to be sure. All right, the steel mauler ate that round. Very good, very good. I'm a little bit excited now. I think next wave might actually push me a little bit, push me to some some sort of limits. Level 48, oh, you know? If that was one level higher, I think it might even be green. Let's use the shotgun on him. One day? Oh, really? Punts, two badass bruisers behind me with rocket launchers. Jesus. Nope. And there's an entire military in front of me now. Oh, no, guys. The Mauler has plenty of bullets for all of you. Let me hide here for a sec. Catch my breath. I'm being shot still. Well, let's just keep killing then. Cover's not for me, guys. It's really not. Doesn't look like we're done yet. Nope, we got more. Badass bruisers. Wonderful. Higher level ones at that. And he killed me. Come on, just keep walking there. Perfect. No, no, no. Yeah, you have to keep walking. There you go. Dead. That was pretty lucky there. He could have easily just went anywhere else and I would have not been able to get to him. Now you... Dead. All right, easy enough. Not really. Kind of difficult, actually. That was a good wave. I'll give you that, Chuck. Gave me a run for my money there. I went down a few times. Turn that in. And we got a blue. No. No, not blue. I thought it was blue because everything about it's blue except the rarity. It's a green rarity. Piece of shit SMG. Thank you, Chuck. Also, we got a level up. Now we can be a little bit more over leveled, make things a bit easier on us. Not that I want things to be easier or anything. I'm no uh, loser or pussy. I'm not scared of a challenge. I believe now the most appropriate thing to do is save quit, go back to New Haven and get a couple more missions. Here in New Haven, our first stop will be Pierce. Hey, Pierce, you know, ooh, not a bad shield. Maybe that'll be decent. Still haven't looked at the other one we got. Uh, very bad sniper. No thanks. Let me take a peek at those shields while I mention it. That 15% HP and regen it isn't really going to be good enough to beat that, so I'll equip that one there. Here's Eric Franks. Turn the story mission into him, and he'll also give us his side mission here. We gotta go collect all of his pornography. They're living on a colonized planet with talking robots that have artificial intelligence, yet they're still using porn magazines. I fail to see why that's the case, but hey, maybe they're just old school. Turn that mission in. This has nothing to do with the porn, by the way. I'm just talking about that. This is the main mission. And there's the next one. He had a nice little place here. Look, he even put up a curtain for the toilet. You know, that's, that's way more sophisticated than I ever expected a psycho midget to be. I'll tell you that. Got a little poster board here. Well, what's on this? A lot of miscellaneous stuff. Oh my. What the fuck? Missing who? What's his name? Hold on a second. Missing person. 
Amanda Ray. You're telling me that's a woman? It doesn't even look like a person. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, that's fucking appalling. Literally mega mind. Well, I'd like to get as far away from that image as possible. Go back to Pierce and talk to her about why the midget's living over there in the fucking storage container. Now we gotta go back, but I'm not gonna do that yet because we got a little bit of stuff to do just around New Haven. First things first, gotta secure the porn. There's the first one. And finally, conveniently placed directly behind Scooter's place of residence is number six. We have another Scooter side mission to accept sinking feeling that one's gonna take us back over to treacherous landing we should also have one from the bounty board to go back as well uh, just the one mission from the bounty board fresh fish fresh fish turn all this shit over here to eric franks there you go, man. I hope you enjoy those magazines. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll enjoy them. I'm curious. I'm gonna spend a golden key and see if the loot will be on level or if it's gonna be like story level or what. I wanna. I just wanna know. Oh, it's my level level, 54. Okay. Too bad I got very bad loot. Very bad indeed. I might take this repeater just because it's the only weapon I have that's on level, but I still don't think it's gonna be any good because that fire rate 2.8 is quite abysmal. Anywho, treacherous landing time. Yeah, it's just as I suspected. Quite bad. Can't hold a candle to our steel mauler or anything else we have for that matter. Well, I don't have any grenades, but you know what? I wonder if I can just use a rocket launcher to do this instead. Got this one here. It's not explosive, but still rocket launcher. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. A fish works. There we go. Missile didn't work, but shooting the gas tank sure will. There it goes. Boat number two. Shoot the tank. I like to watch them sink into the nothingness. Third and final ship right out here. There she blows. Right here we can get the final four fish. And that's all. Now that we've got all the fish, we've got one more thing to do over here. You all know what it is. Of course, it's the Tannis Easter Egg. Oh, look at that, a volcano. This place is truly blessed. Just an awful, awful volcano, but you know. I'll pick it up because it's shiny. I looked up how to do the Easter Egg, so I shan't forget it. It's yellow, green, blue, red. So we're gonna start here, yellow. Then out there is green, blue, and now the final one, red. Now that should have done it. Yep, worked. There's the towers. Stand on the helm, take off my UI. It's beautiful. How magnificent. Well, I can't think of a better place to leave off than that right there. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this episode, please leave it a like. If you didn't like it, please leave it a dislike. I'll go ahead and go over today's progress. So obviously we got our final SDU of the playthrough, bringing our total up to 20 out of 20. We have completed 149 missions this playthrough, bringing our total up to 360 out of 432 total completed missions. I'm counting the four we haven't turned in yet too. No achievements completed this episode. So that is everything. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.